Well, I started left school when I was about uh, two and a half years at high school, then went in the office at Charleston Garage for about um, uh, to the end of the year, then I went under apprenticeship, so that would have happened in 41, 15, 66, 56. It was a good flood down the river. Then I went to further up the road, a bit closer, uh, to Lawton Transport, where I worked for 12 and a half years, and that was really an education, because starting back at the garage at Charleston, that was farm services, so you learnt everything. You learnt lathe work, welding, uh, pulling bores, mechanicing, in them days you had to do diffs, you had to do set up your own gearboxes and uh, um, generators, no alternators then, and starter motors, so you virtually learnt a lot. You weren't a technician, you were a mechanic, and yeah. them days you couldn't go and buy anything from the second hand yard or anything like that because you had to repair it. So what was your first impression when you heard about Royal? Well, no, nah, I didn't want to know a thing about it, because I'm a mechanic. They got tunnel vision, don't want to know anything about alternatives. So why was that? Well, mechanics always think they know it all. And, uh, you know, now that stuff there, and you, don't, you know, you didn't want to, there was that many of them around and that, uh, so, yeah, didn't want to do it. But then Murray kept pestering and I eventually tried in an old Datsun 180B and where I was working at that present time then was the Lenswood Coal Stores. And up a hill from there, I only had it in the motor and uh, she just went up that hill. So what's this machine? It uh, is what I classify as a friction machine. Mm -hmm. A lot of people refer to it as a Felix machine, but I first saw this when I was a mechanic. Uh, it would have been, yeah, about second year, I reckon, when I was, uh, no, it would have been when I was 16, 17 years old. This motor is pretty powerful. <coughs> it enables me to do a fair bit because it is so powerful. And then here you've got a little disc uh, they made up locally, Murray Bridge. Mm -hmm. Silver steel on the shaft, driven by a V-belt. That turns out the boat. And here you've got your bearing, no second hand ones, probably out of the Caterpillar. So you put that in there, then you've got your tension wrench there, which measures the uh, pressure you're putting So on. that's your tension wrench? That's your tension wrench, okay. that comes down on there, and you push on there. When okay, so on the gauge you can see how much pressure you're actually applying pressure to the bearing. Okay, on great. That's right. Okay, so what does this test actually show you? It just uh, shows you how friction is reduced, mm -hmm. which you'll see quite easy because I say it's unbelievable. First of all, we need a bit of oil in the in this little sump. So what have we got here? We've got just standard oil, mineral oil, a mineral oil, uh -huh. and that is going around there, bearing there. Sixty foot pound, pretty much. Yep. And so with basic oil applying 60 pound a foot pound of pressure actually stopped the actual spinning of the bearing. Now to show that, that is, it is a metal conditioner, I've just turned that a quarter of a turn. We'll leave that surface there and show you the wear, what was on that bearing from that. We'll just go down again. So 60 foot pound again, and again it stopped. Okay, yeah, great. So I can show you the first one, you'll see that one, well they're both about the same there, very, very similar. Very yeah. torn to bits and not a real good surface. It's sort of if you put that under a microscope it'll look pretty jagged. Which would wear a bearing or something out pretty quick. Take two to three hundred Ks for it to condition them uh, the metal in a motor or gearbox or whatever, diff, is that uses the oil as a means to transport the oil around to condition the metal. So you've applied 60 foot pound of pressure and you can actually stop and start this now with the royal added, whereas it was actually stopping and seizing without any royal in there. And you can see from there, even the 60 pound of pressure is a very, very, very small amount of load on the motor, which is shown in the act. Amazing. Still running, very little load on the amp meter, and now at 150 foot pounds, we've still got full operation, we're still operating. It does get hard on the hand. Amazing. Too good now, that surface there you'll see is fairly nice and shiny. Give her another quarter of a turn. 
to go. Still in that, met it in the oil. pounds already. Very little load on the amps on the engine. And it's still working no problems at all. So almost up to 150 foot pound now. Still no draw on the amperage. You can see it's right up on the end of the torque wrench and just very very little load coming up on the amperage and it's still turning in that's all hot. That hasn't really done or worn that any further. Wow look at the scar. In comparison, yeah, <coughs> amazing. Is off the shavings off the floor of using a cutting disc, metal cutting disc, and a power saw. See it on the wheel. That's what the metal filings in there. And it's lining up the full maximum on the torque wrench, and it's still running and drawing no amps. Wow. So, what's the idea here? Is you're actually applying more leverage We're because it's a longer bar? That there goes to about 150 with my leg over here and pressing down. I think they'd be getting close to 200 to 250 to 300 foot. Again. Just listen and watch the amps, you'll see the amps come up and you'll also hear the motor stall. Okay, so you can see the amp meter go right up when the motor stalls, but it actually hasn't, it's not there as a result of the bearing um, failing, it's actually because the motor, motor stalling, is that correct? So it hasn't really broke through that conditioning, that's what it's sort of proving, so it's there for that, so once it's there it'll stay there too for cold starts or whatever. break down but I just want to show you that with all that pressure and those filings in there that's what it's done to that bearing. Wow. That's how much it's worn. In comparison to what? So if we go back to the previous one. That was the first one we did where it stopped and that was the second one when I just turned it with the metal that had been picked up from that one it was on the wheel it dug in there too but put the royal in and that condition it you can see that by the thing and that's how much she wore there with with metal all that filings. pressure, metal filings, and that up to about 200 or 250 to 300 foot pound. Amazing. So, to me, that proves that it's a metal conditioner and it reduces. Uh, that's a pretty old chainsaw, that one's about 50 years old, still cuts like a champion. But you can see what friction that does on here. Amazing. If you can imagine that on the cutter bar, just what it does there, too. So, so you're a mechanic of over 50 years. Yeah, who was skeptical to start with? Yeah, you've now proved to your yeah. own in your own mind that the product works exceptionally yeah. well. Like everybody's got choices. Whether it's your own health or your car. You can choose to use it or you can choose not to. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that, that's a pretty good insurance. Yeah. But you've proven in your own mind that this, yep. this product absolutely works. Yes. To me, I would say I just whatever it is, I'll use it. Well, I'll never it a lot. Yeah. Even the electric shave. I mean, you don't smell too nice like after shave when you perhaps use it. But, uh. <laughs> <laughs>